Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with The Witcher. Been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while, and I know I'm late to the party. Uh, season 2 has been out for a couple months now, actually. Uh, but I decided to do The Book of Boba Fett before I decided to do The Witcher Season 2. But anyway, yes, it's been about a year and a half since we last watched The Witcher. I know they did come out with that animated movie, but I just kind of never found the time to do it, and... Well, now we're here. Uh, but probably because I believe it is technically canon. It's like a prequel series or a prequel movie or something. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll probably watch that after we finish season two. So, uh, so yeah, if, if it's referenced at all, because I, I think, what is it? It's the, the movie's about like uh, Geralt's mentor or something. Uh, so if it's referenced at all and I don't understand the reference, that's why. So, but... More to that, uh, if you guys remember, uh, if, well, if there's anyone new here to this, uh, to my Witcher reactions, uh, when I watched season one of The Witcher, I went into it completely blind. I had no idea what anything was in this show, and I still kind of don't. I'm really just, I'm only going off of, uh, what I saw in season one and nothing else. I've never played the games, I've never, I believe there are book series as well, I've never read those, like, I've... I I know nothing about The Witcher, but that makes it fun. Uh, it, ma it makes it a very interesting watch as someone who just doesn't know a thing about it. So yeah, I have no expectations. I have no... Well, again, the only expectations I have are from Season 1. Last time on The Witcher, we had much more, the Season 1 finale. Um, which, normally, what I would do is I would just try to recap it uh, with the limited knowledge that I actually remember. However, I really couldn't remember what happened at the end of last season, so I did rewatch my reaction to it. So, uh, the main thing of the episode was uh, the mages battling Nilfgaard. And uh, they had this whole epic battle. Uh, Tissaia was doing some stuff. Uh, she had that whole thing of, you know, reserve your chaos, uh, which Yennefer did, and she passed that on to some other people too. That was interesting. There was that one sword mage who kept, like, respawning his sword until he couldn't. Um, Fringella on Nilfgaard's side, she was... I think she was, like, sacrificing people in order to do these fireballs. Uh, even though she said that... Uh, I'm pretty sure she said, like, oh, my magic doesn't have a cost or some crap like that. Uh, so, yeah. Tissaia... Was Tissaia stabbed... No, 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 she got the pocket darkness, that's right. Uh, to say I got the pocket darkness, and then, uh, pretty much, like, almost every mage died, and then Yennefer just unleashed hellfire on Nilfgaard. Um, and I don't remember if, uh, Birdman was defeated. I don't remember his name, but I believe, so, Birdman, I remember in the reaction I said, Birdman is not the Nilfgaard Emperor, and the Emperor is the White Flame, which is not a religion. So I remember that now. Um, meanwhile, uh, Geralt got bit by a Graboid zombie. And uh, he was... Well, I, I don't want to say like he was out for a while. But I mean, he was sort of going through some stuff. And then he had what appeared to be a dream about his mother. However, it's... It's sort of like, oh, he woke up and it's like, oh, was that a dream? But we're kind of leaning into, no, that was actually his mother. Uh, she patched him up and uh, they had an interesting conversation. Um, and then he was being taken care of by this old dude who then took him to his house where Siri was at. Um, and then at the end of the episode, Geralt and Siri finally met up and it was all nice and good. So yeah, um, that is the best that I can recap that episode. If there's anything I missed, it's because I don't remember. Uh, but honestly, I mean, I think that's a pretty decent recap of last episode. Um, oh, and I think the last line was Siri saying, who's Yennefer? Because I think Geralt was calling for Yennefer. So yeah, maybe the, the three of them can meet up. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what I got from, uh, rewatching my reaction to last episode. It was actually, it was really interesting watching that again. And it's going to be fun watching this season again, you know? Uh, so 
Uh, but before, last thing before we get into the episode itself, this is the first episode of the season, which means full length on this episode is available for free. If you want to watch my full unedited reaction to this episode of The Witcher, what you gotta do is head down in the description or into the pinned comment. There will be a link to my Patreon page, but remember it's free. Uh, it's completely unlocked and free for everyone, where you can sync up your copy of this episode of The Witcher to my footage. I can't give you the whole episode because that is wholesale illegal. And I want to drive that home because some people question me about that. But no, it is illegal for me to just give you an episode. Um, so yeah, but you can do that. I mean, presumably if you're watching The Witcher, you have you have it on Netflix. Or if you're crafty, there are some other sites where you can probably find The Witcher without Netflix. But you didn't hear that from me. Uh, so yeah, it's simple enough. Syncing is really easy. And if you like it, you can do full length, full time. If not, eh, well... It's all right. It, it, it's okay if you don't want to do that. Um, also, if you just don't want to do the full length on this episode in general, then just wait five seconds or so and the reaction will start up here. The edited reaction. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right into Season 2, Episode 1 of The Witcher. Here we go. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. This dude's a tosser. Okay, uh, that's not a good. Wait, are these, uh... Just trying to make sure what side is doing what. The Nilfgaard soldiers are down, because you have to beat the fuck out of them. Ooh! Oh! You won't find her in your visions. Well. Is that sword guy? Damn, he's out here in just like a shirt and jeans. I've seen this. So, uh, okay. We'll talk about that later. We won. Because of her. She bought us time until the armies arrive. Hmm. Was it worth it? She fucking exploded. Yennefer, if you please tell me who she is. Doesn't matter. No. She's gone now. Oh. I'm gonna press X to doubt for a while. I saved your father's life. From what? Your grandmother. She didn't want your mother marrying her. An outsider. Whatever he was. But joke's on her, right? Your father didn't know what he was giving up. Hence the law of surprise. What do we know? Our spies don't have much. Only that he orchestrated the fall of Sintra. And that he doesn't answer to the generals. Only to the Emperor himself. Oh, is it Birdman? No one's been able to break him. It must be Birdman. Oh. There she is. Morning, sunshine. Ooh. Ah, you're finally awake. Ah, oh, balls. She got captured. What's wrong, Roach? He really is a horse whisperer. How did you do that? It's called Axie. Oh, it's cool. a calming sign. Oh my god, I. Can I do that with my dog? Please? This is looking a bit sus. Um. I'm sure it's fine. That happens all the time. Okay, that doesn't. Oh my god! Oh, it's not as big as I thought it was. Oh. Nebelin. What the 
fuck are you doing here, you old whore son? What hap what's with you? This. I'm still me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad trick. Nah, he's very you dramatic. What happened to you. That's a tale requiring wine. What of you? That's a tale requiring a wine cellar. Nah, yeah. He, he has to explain having a little girl with him. Come on, can't you wait till after the bath? Oh. Gave her a new thing. Thanks, whoever's here. Was hired by the most horrible monster of all. My father. To clear our woods or wife an infestation. I've seen those in books. Now I try to prove myself to my father. By killing one first. Mm -hmm. But instead, I fell into the dampest lair. He hands me the wyvern's head and tells my father I was the one that killed it. Ah. No. <laughs> Had to clear the forest of the entire pack. Got paid either way. Nonsense. He's a big soft. Ah, uh, he is I a softy. No word of a lie, young. I thrashed the temple of the lion at the spider, high on god's flesh mushrooms. All the mushrooms in the world wouldn't make anyone that stupid. If only it were so, this priestess cursed me to live like this forever. Hmm. Alone. Aww. It's not reason enough for an entire village to leave their homes. It is when the wild hunt's riding over the horizon. I saw them myself. Hmm. Just last week. Isn't that the name of the third Riding game? Skeletal horses across the southern sky. Maybe it's the end of days. I've lived through a whole dark age and three supposed end of days. Mm. It's all horseshit. How old is he supposed to be exactly? I'm guessing a couple hundreds. Meanwhile, back in whatever this place is called. Oh, it is Birdman. It looks like Terrell Wellick from Mr. Robot. It is not in my nature to be cruel, but you have taken someone from me. Aww. Someone I care about deeply. Ah. Uh. And leave you cold and helpless, trapped in the eternal darkness of your own mind. Jesus. Eventually he'll stop thinking. I know. I know you want to scream. Oh! And then you will know what a scream can really be! Ah. You've broken their sacred law, you've tapped into fire magic. And to say his best, I'll be lauded for saving them. I'm sure they'll be most understanding, all the leaders are. Hmm. I didn't realize fire magic was bad. You're offering me up as a sacrifice. It's a famous piece. I first saw as a lad while studying at Oxford. Oh, cool. It's as if she's determined to do the opposite of the thing that'll keep her safe. Talking to Roach. For those, when I need her to be quiet, stubborn and sullen, I need her to talk. She's not like you, Roach. Looks like you're in good company. No. What's it like? <laughs> Being alone because of what you are? It's what eats you alive. Loneliness. Uh. Monsters are more than just horrid looks and claws and teeth. Monsters are born of deeds done. Unforgivable ones. Hmm. Man, I'm waiting for it to drop that something's wrong here. I don't know, I... I uh... I, you'd feel bad for him, man. God, I hope it was warm on set, because it looks so cold out there. Whoever misses your dear father's head, drinks, and tells the truth. Prepare to lose. <laughs> He's missing on purpose. What's your plan? 
Bullseye. Another hit. He's doing this on purpose. He's telling the truth because he's going to figure him out. What changed you? Time. Who? Ah. Yeah, from a back. Aw. She's dead. Uh. Well, she's gone. Oh, you looked heartbroken. Who says I'm not? No. He's a witcher. He's good at this. He can hold that in. That witches obtain children so they can feed them with magic herbs. The few who survive become witches themselves. All human feelings and reactions are trained out of them. They are turned into monsters to kill other monsters. That's not going to happen to her. You literally just asked him if he was heartbroken. Mm. Mm. The look of a man who's wondering why his old friend is cheating. Magic knives. <laughs> oh. But why? So he hasn't been missing. On I've purpose. Seen you piss yourself in a wyvern den. Ah. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, that's just a girl. Ugh. I don't like the way it moves. Why do you travel with that man? I know what he is. He kills things. Monsters. Yes. Kills. Not all the time. He's killing- he kills the ones that cause a ruckus. Okay, so presumably... She's the one going into the town. It flies. Ugh! What are you doing? What's going on, Geralt? Move. No. Ugh. Ugh. I hate these noises. Well, I'd say get a room, but they, they already do. Oh. Oh! Oh my god, there's so many teeth, too! Yeah! Oh! Oh, and into the statue. Man, just hit her with two fingers. Siri, get back! What are you doing? Ah, oh, God, she's fast. Aha. Ooh! Throw it back. Ooh, good job. Whoop! Ah, uh, she flies now. I like that. I like the clicking you can hear. Oh! Aha! Good job. Damn it, Siri. Ooh! Last minute save. All oh, the boobs. Oh god, that wasn't enough. Cut her head off! Okay. Ah! Oh, for goodness sake! Okay. Ah! Oh, he's cured! Love and blood. Hmm. They both possess a mighty power. Well. Learned men and mages have racked their brains over it for years. No. Because she didn't care that I was cursed all those years ago. Not for destroying the temple. Raping the priestess. Hmm. Use your sword. End this. For me. Immortal now. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Oh shit! 
damn, man. That was a roller coaster of a story, too. Oh. Okay, colors come back to his face. When I say run, you run. When I say hide, you hide. And when I say get to run. Connect. Die. That happens to him too. Fear is an illness. If you catch it and you leave it untreated, it can consume you. Facing your fear is not easy. But I am here for you. I won't let anything happen to you. Hmm. I wonder how long before they turn on you. <laughs> Boop. Is it? Wait, maybe it's Tissaia. Oh! Oh! Oh, they're not gonna show us, are they? Dang it! Oh, man. I didn't realize how much I missed this show. Like, seriously. You know, and something I was thinking about, sometime, something I've thought about recently is... Ironically, you know, Netflix does have a Castlevania show. It ended, but they do have a Castlevania animated show. But I feel like if you ever wanted a live-action Castlevania... There you go. There you go, you got The Witcher. It's, it's just as good. Uh, actually, I kind of like this a bit more than the Castlevania show, but eh, that's neither here nor there. Oh, man. That, I mean, yeah, you know, that was a long episode. That was a long episode. It was over an hour long, or just that. Yeah. Taking out the credits, it was just at an hour. Um, you know, if any show earns it, if any show earns it, it's The Witcher. Ugh. And it's so interesting, too, because it's... This is very different... Well, kind of different from Season 1. Where Season 1... The big thing with Season 1 was... The different timelines that were happening, you know? Because in Episode 1, you see the fall of Sentra. And... You see Ciri escaping... But that doesn't actually happen until much later, you know? So, uh, that that was one of the more interesting things about Season 1, uh, was just the different sort of points on the timeline. You see where Geralt starts off, you see where Yennefer starts off, and then you see where Ciri starts off. And then you watch as those three storylines progress, not going at the exact same time, but just how they progress until eventually all three of them catch up to the same spot. We don't have that anymore. We don't have that anymore. The most we have is Geralt and Ciri going on their own, you know, journey basically going around. And you have Yennefer who is still dealing with uh, Fringilla and Nilfgaard. So it's just two separate stories that are occurring at the same time. But it is, it still works. It still really does work. And I like, too, because I also had a thought during this where it's like, okay, so here's this, you know, killer, this hunter, uh, who has now taken on this child uh, into his care. And I was sitting here like, wow, this is very Mandalorian, actually. This definitely reminds me of the Mandalorian. Um, and I think, I can't remember, I know I reacted to the Mandalorian first, but did the Mandalorian come out first, or did... The Witcher come out first. I can't remember, but either way, I'm. I don't want to say either one is copying the other. Um, but what I'm definitely glad for in this episode. First off, it only shows up in this episode because now he's taking care of Siri. But I will say the nice thing about this is that it is different, you know, because with Mando and the kid, it's. The kid's basically a baby, you know? The kid doesn't really talk, you know, he's just got this, you know, childlike wonder about him and stuff. Whereas Siri, 
is older. She can talk. She she has an opinion on everything and everything, you know? So it's immediately just a different dynamic than the Mandalorian and the child. So I like that. And yeah, I honestly, the two of them work really well off of each other. Uh, so I like that. It, it It's good going forward. And especially because series plot in season one... I don't want to say it wasn't interesting, but it was probably, of the three ma main plot lines, I don't think it was my favorite. I don't think it was anyone's favorite, really. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Let me know. But, you know, mainly, I, th I thought Geralt's was the most interesting, followed by Yennefer, and then Ciri. Ciri going through, she goes to that one place in the forest after meeting the elf dude, uh, and then eventually things keep exploding, and then eventually she finds Geralt. Um... So, yeah, like, that stuff, while it was good, was the least interesting thing in Season 1, you know? But now, her and Geralt, I'm really enjoying, you know? So, yeah, really enjoy that. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into the notes for uh, the discussion on this episode. Uh, to sort of group things together, I think I did that a bit last season, where I would go in order of stories basically i would group notes together by stories so i'm going to start off with yennefer's story um which is really interesting so yennefer gets captured gets taken after uh raining hellfire quite literally on uh the nilfgaard army um and that was really really interesting too that uh that they say that she's tapped into fire magic which i guess is just not good like, fire magic maybe is a bit more forbidden or something? I don't know. Um, I don't remember if that was established in Season 1 or not. Um, but yeah, but f as far as they know, she's just completely gone. So, and I like that scene uh, with uh, Tissaia and Geralt uh, when they both realize that Yennefer's gone, you know? Um, and honestly, I just really like how much Tissaia cares for her, you know? Like, it's a very interesting... I mean, the sort of master and apprentice thing with Tissaia and Yennefer has always been very interesting. But yes, seeing how much she truly does care for Yennefer, I really like that. Um, so much that, man, when she's when she's talking to Birdman, I'll never know his name. I'm sure he has one, but I'll never know. I mean, I guess... Here, I was gonna... I was gonna pop over to IMDb anyway, uh, because I was gonna look up... Um, Nevelyn... Um, now oh, here, hang on, I need a sec, let me load up an on-screen keyboard, alright, the, w no, not the Walking Dead, the, the, the Witcher, there we go, alright, episode guide, season two, episode one, a grain of truth, so I guess we could, let me see. Uh, da 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 da. Kahir? Is that him? No. Uh, Kahir. So, okay. I'm never gonna really remember that. I'm just gonna keep calling him Birdman, so. Um, so yeah. Birdman. Uh, I did really like that when she's just... When she's just... Not even, like, she's just gonna go extract information. Like, I really did like that, you know? Uh, so that was really, really interesting. So, uh, so yeah, there was that, and then, you know, them recouping after this great battle. Which, I mean, it's a battle that Nilfgaard lost. I'm so curious, like, what are we doing with Nilfgaard, you know? Like, whoa, what's going on here? Because they, they keep talking about the White Flame and stuff, which, uh, I believe you guys clarify that the white flame is not their religion per se it's and they they kind of clarify it here too where it's the emperor but i guess i don't know maybe their religion is their emperor basically so yeah so that's really interesting i'm just curious like and, and maybe they went over it like what they're doing you know if they're if they're just like going on a crusade i mean they even said you know we're here to liberate but I can't remember if it was fully stated what Nilfgaard is doing. Maybe I need to rewatch all of my season one reactions so that I can, uh, so that I can really get back into it, you know. But if the, if there's something I'm missing, then you guys can definitely clarify in the comments. 
Um, of course, we should say, in case anyone's new to these uh, reactions and these discussions, because I don't know anything about the Witcher series, I'm just going off of uh, what's said in these episodes, don't do too much, you know, don't talk too much about the games or the books or whatever. Let's try to keep this to the show because that's what I'm that's what I'm watching you know and I don't know anything else about that and I'd like to keep it to the show you know so um but yeah so I'm not quite sure what Nilfgaard is doing other than just war war to liberate you know um but yeah but that was but yeah that whole inter interrogation with uh Birdman was crazy um and yeah just the fact oh she gets so descriptive and so intimidating and then just that scream that sh he actually screams so much it's like it's practically like you just can't hear it you know like that was so crazy um but yennefer is alive she is alive and being held captive by fringilla which is interesting uh the two of them sort of spent after that battle which is uh which was kind of funny can't even conjure up some decent grub um, but yeah, so, now we never fully got, we never fully got what Fringilla wants with Yennefer, like, because Yennefer keeps, kept talking about, well, you know, you're gonna be a disgrace and everything like that, your head's gonna roll because of this and that, and then she thought, well, you know, maybe you're going to sacrifice me to redeem yourself to your emperor but that's not going to work and stuff so i th but the fact that they she kept saying that stuff you know you're gonna sacrifice me or you're gonna capture me or whatever and frangilla never really said what she was going to do it makes me think that there is going to be something else but then at the end something else just took out all the all the soldiers there so i don't know i it, i feel like if it was to say it they would have shown her so i think this is something else something bigger that's uh that's now found them. So, yeah. And I guess... I mean, that's kind of it for uh, Yennefer's story, which is interesting. Now, so I guess we'll move on to uh, Geralt and Ciri's story. Now, okay. I was gonna look up the guy that plays uh, Neverin. Or, no, no, no. Uh, Nevelin. That's right. I'm mixing the names, I think. Uh... Oh, that's okay. I was wondering. I was like, why does he look so familiar? Okay, it's Tormund. Tormund Giant's Bane from Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. I, that That's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, okay. I can see it now, too, in, uh, in his face. So, all right. All right. Oh, I'm so glad for that. It's cool seeing him again. Honestly, that is kind of one thing about this show, too, is that it does sort of remind me about, uh, it, it does sort of remind me of Game of Thrones, except maybe a tad bit more fantasy, mainly just for how many monsters are out and about. Um, but I've kind of been in, I, I don't know, there's a part of me that slightly enjoys The Witcher more. Maybe it's just because of the ending of Game of Thrones, but we won't go into that. And then, okay, well, the actress who played uh what was it uh verena she hasn't done much and none of it that i've seen so oh well um but she was good she was good i don't know like was what how were they doing her movements was she just doing that i swear though it almost looked like while like she probably had you know a very specific way of moving i swear they almost like cut frames out of the shot you know like, you know, when you're going through, you have a certain frame rate of uh, the footage. I almost feel like they were taking they were taking out, like, one or two, maybe three frames per second to get this sort of, you know, otherworldly look about her, you know? So, uh, so yeah, that was really, really good. I, I, I liked her. And, yeah, just this interesting, uh, this whole interesting thing. First off, we have uh, uh, everything... Uh, with Siri and the law of surprise and explaining that, which is interesting. That stupid friggin' law of surprise. I love the law of surprise for how stupid it is. Like, between, like, you know, there was the first one that, you know, 
which is why uh, the grandmother had to uh, honor it, even though she didn't want to. And then the other one where Geralt, Geralt like an idiot, is like, ah, law of surprise. What you have but do not know. And then that, because of that, he ended up with Siri. It's so ridiculous that I do kind of love it, you know? Um, but yeah, I also like how they talk about, you know, uh, places to go. And it's like, oh, well, uh, surely I have some allies in this place. And it's like, yes, but you'll be, you know, sent off to the nearest ugly, you know, ugly bad breath lord who will try to take your throne. Like, it's, um, so I like that in the whole thing of like, okay, we need to, we need to sort of lay low, which I like, you know? Uh, again, very Castlevania Mandalorian sort of just, we have to lay low. We're just two people just out in the world. We got to freaking lay low, you know? So I did like that. Um, I also like the, the little thing. Was it Axie? Axie? Something like that, uh, that he did with Roach in order to, uh, calm him down. I really could use that for my dog, honestly. So, um, but yeah, so we had Nivellin, very interesting character, uh, I like the backstory with the wyvern and everything. That was really, uh, really clever. And yeah, you know, oh, excuse me. You know, he talks about, you know, becoming how to be how they become witchers and stuff like that, and um, how they become witchers and uh, how you know they're stripped of all emotion, human emotion, and everything like that. And it's like true, but not only. Like, not only did he just say he was heartbroken over Yennefer, but then also the whole thing of, like, well, you know, he... Geralt is a bit of a softy, you know? He he allowed, uh... He allowed, uh... Uh, Nevelyn to bring the head of the Wyvern to his father. Like, th that was really, really interesting. So, I, I like that it's like, yes, you can see that Geralt is very different from just normal humans but i like how there is still some humanity in him you know so that was really interesting uh we had his whole thing with the curse and uh this interesting uh subject of monsters i feel like this is almost turning into star versus the forces of evil where they start questioning what is a monster you know um so yeah like this whole thing which i get you know with some of it it's like well you know, he was injured, and he took in, uh, Varela, Varela and stuff like that. Or, no, 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 that wasn't, that wasn't the name, was it? No, we just looked this up, and I've, and I wrote it down wrong, didn't I? Hold on. What was the name? It was... Verena, that was it. Not Varela. Okay. I think I, I think I'm mixing too many stuff. So Verena. There we go. Simple fix. Verena. So yeah. Uh, so that whole thing with Verena and, you know, taking her in and she didn't view him as a monster and stuff like that. It's very interesting. It's very interesting to sort of think about like, oh, well, you know, what exactly is a monster? Just because they are basically non-human, should Geralt be killing them? But, while they're going over all of this, like, oh, you know, she was she was kind to me, and I, I, I was letting her feed on me and stuff. But then you have the whole thing of, well, A, she's tried to kill us. B, she has killed an entire town, as well as, you know, the couple people, you know, that were passing through, like, eh, I don't know, I don't know, like, I, I'm just sort of sitting here, like, well, I get your story, but that doesn't excuse the town she ate, basically, you know, the town she murdered, so that was really, really interesting, just sort of the back and forth in that story, um, of, like, yeah, is it, you know, do you feel bad? To an extent. But that's it. You only feel bad to an extent. At a point, it stops and it's like, okay, this thing is a danger, you know? So, yeah, that that was really, really interesting. Um, we also had everything with the daggers, which I liked. Um, that was also really, really cool. 
the the whole thing with the daggers, which I thought the the point was that Geralt was missing on purpose, and then, like, because he was saying all these truths, eventually the truth would just come out of uh, Nevelyn. But I was wrong. And it's that it was magic knives, so Geralt always missed, which was interesting. Um, but I like that, you know, getting a bit of the truths, I suppose, about uh, Geralt, which was interesting. And, you know, how he feels after uh, Yennefer's supposed demise, you know? Uh, apparent demise, I guess. So, that was really, really interesting. Uh, good fight. Definitely a good fight. Man, a, a Bruxa. That is crazy. That thing is just crazy. The design, like, when it goes nuts and just... Not only... First off, the sonic blast that it has, which was crazy. And then just the... I like it's not just the mouth is stretching open. It's stretching open to show two more rows of teeth. Like, ugh, It's just terrifying, you know? And just from the way it moves and stuff like that, it's, ugh, it's horrible. But then it got into its full bat form or whatever, uh, which was interesting. And again, I just love watching Geralt work, you know? It's just so interesting. You can hear the, the clicks getting slower and faster as when she's coming around and stuff. And then... He does end up getting her, which was good. Um, and then, yeah, the the end of that, um, which is interesting, you know. Now, it's interesting because he was talking about, like, oh, no, we shouldn't, you know, no, you killed her. This is terrible and stuff. And it's like, well, you stabbed through her. So it's like, I, I, I get it. He's he, Now he's heartbroken over this, but it's like, dude, she's crazy. She's losing it, you know? Like, I, I don't know. But I get it. He's heartbroken, you know? Um, and we had her parting words to Siri, which was, he's coming for you too. Eventually he'll go for you too, you know? Uh, which is an interesting thing of, you know, Siri kind of doubting herself, especially with these powers and, you know, facing that fear. And I don't, I don't think we're going to go down a thing of like, oh, well, she'll try to get away from Geralt or she fears Geralt or anything like that. But, but yeah, it's it's really interesting. Obviously, she's afraid of her own powers. You know what's deep within her. But I like that uh, that part at the end where Geralt is like, "Look, fear fear is an illness, and in order to in order to stop it, you need to face your fears. And yes, it's difficult, but at the very least, I'm here for you. You know. So I did really like that. Um, and yeah, just, oh, and everything with uh, Nevelyn and his cure, you know, he, he was cured because he was in love and everything. Um, but yeah, but that whole thing of like, you know, why he was cursed in the first place, like, it, I don't remember what he originally said. I trashed the temple of the lion and the spider. High up. On God's flesh mushrooms. All the mushrooms in the world. Wouldn't... Okay. That was it, is that he trashed this temple, is what it was. Um, high on mushrooms, which was kind of funny. Uh, but that was the cover story. What actually brought about this curse was that he raped the priest. And yeah, that's when, you know, once he says that, that's when it's like, okay, you did, you probably deserved that curse, you, you know, whatever. And so that's when Geralt and Ciri turn away. And yeah, that last part of like, you know, no, use your sword and end me. And Geralt just says, you're mortal now. Do it yourself. Like, yeah, no, we're not, you're not taking the easy way out. You want to die, kill yourself. You know, like Jesus Christ. Um, but very, very interesting. I really enjoyed the story. And yeah, really, really solid premiere, honestly. Like this was a really, really good episode. So yeah, um... Uh, interesting stuff, you know, uh, starting off probably, uh, what I would assume would be a story arc for Siri with her doubting herself and being scared of her powers and everything. An interesting dynamic for, uh, her and Geralt, as well as, uh, interesting stuff going on with Yennefer. So yeah, very, very interesting stuff. I'm excited to see where we are going this season. But that is basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those. There's a playlist for all of my Witcher reactions, which I'm probably going to need so I can catch up on a few things. There's also uh, another video you can go click on if you want, as well as a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.